a morbid curiosity seems to draw people to this home. A steady stream of cars passes the place. Damon and Devin Routier were killed. Traffic that includes frequent checks by the Rowlett police. It just hurts seeing two little kids, you know? I mean, because they didn't deserve it. They did. Surrounded by a media circus, most in this community are trying to return to their daily routines. But things will never be normal here. Neighbors stop and stare, looking for some way to cope with the tragedy that happened here and the added shock of the woman police say is responsible. I can't believe a mother would go and do something like that to her own children. I've had tears almost every day since it happened. There are flowers, plants, and balloons in the front yard, along with stuffed animals and notes from playmates to friends who are never coming home. In memory of Devin and Damon, the angels will take care of you. Love, Lindsay Fulmer, nine years old. And there is still another, much more haunting shrine here. The shoes of Devin and Damon, still sitting outside the family's front door.